Hey guys, Harsh here back in the video. So as you can see, I have my ESP32 and my soil moisture sensor over here and you have probably guessed it by the title. I'm going to show you how you can use this soil moisture sensor which will sense the amount of moisture that is present in the soil and give the data to your ESP32 from where you can just transmit it to any of the devices you like such as the irrigation system or something like that. And this is going to be a, just a simple basic video. I'm just going to show you how you can get the readings from this sensor and get it processed into your ESP32. Because after that, I mean, there are literally hundreds of things that you can do with it. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first of all, as you can see, I have already connected my soil moisture probe with the sensor module and as you can see, it is directly soldered to the board. Sometimes it may be a separate two wires going to this particular probe, but the polarity here doesn't really matter. So you can connect it in either way you like. And on the other end, you can see we have total of four pins, VCC, ground, digital out and analog out. For this particular video, we will be only using the analog output, but obviously you can also use the digital output if you like. So first we will connect our VCC to the 3.3 volts on the ESP32 which is right over here. Then we will connect the ground also which is right next to it to the ground on the sensor just like so. And now finally we will take the analog output and connect it to any of the GPIO pins that you like. It is the ESP32 so you, you can connect it to the any of the GPIO pins and it will just uh, read the analog value. So for this example, I am going to use the pin number D4. So I will just connect it like so. So only three wire connection, pretty simple to do. And now all we have to do is program it with our computer. So let's connect the USB port and head over to our computer. Okay, so here's the code that we are going to use for this project. So first of all, I have defined a variable over here which is named soil moisture pin and as you know it is going to be our gpr pin number four so i have set it at four obviously if you have any other different pin you can just directly change it from here then in the white setup function we are just uh, defining the serial monitor at 9600 baud rate you can choose any other baud rate that you like but make sure that baud rate is compatible with your sensor and then finally in the loop function we are using the serial dot print and function this will basically print the values on our serial monitor and what it is going to print is the analog value that is received by the soil moisture pin which is pin number four so it will analog read the value of pin number four and then print it on the serial monitor and as it is a loop function it will run again and again so we need to add a delay of 500 milliseconds so that we don't get bombarded with values now before you upload this first you need to make sure that our ide can actually program the esp32 so what you have to do is just go to the file section then click on preferences this will open up the small window and here in the additional boards manager url you have to paste a link i will just give it in the description box below and if you have any other link pasted here just put a comma and then paste your second link so that both of them can work simultaneously together and once you have pasted it here you can just go ahead and click on ok then go to the boards manager which is this icon over here and type in esp32 so you will get two options one by arduino and one by the espresso system so download the one by the espresso system and once it's installed just restart your ide now if we can select our board and com port so just uh, use this drop down icon over here it is already selected in mine but i will show you how to do it just click on select other boards and port and here you have to search for esp32 dev kit or dev module in my case so this one esp32 dev module just search for it by typing the dev over here just select that and select your com port it could be any com port in my case it is com number five but in your case it might be different number so just uh, make sure to check that as well and once both of them are selected you can just go ahead and click on ok and now you can just push this arrow button which will first compile the sketch and upload it to the board now as you can see our uploading is done now we can go ahead and open up the serial monitor which is right over here on the top right corner so just click on it and make sure that the bud rate over here matches with the bud rate over here on the serial monitor now as you can see we are getting the values as my sensor is currently out of the soil so you will get this value but if i try to touch my sensor with my hands and create a conductive path between them then you can see the value sort of decreases so basically what it does is measure the conductivity between the two probes so you can insert it in your soil measure the value at the dry state and then put water in it whatever you think is necessary then measure the value again so let's say when the soil is dry you will get a reading of 4000 something like that but when the soil is wet you will get a reading of 2000 so by this you can just adjust your irrigation system so let's say if the value goes above 
4000 that means the soil is too dry the irrigation system will turn on and it will remain on until the conductivity reaches to 2000 and then the irrigation system should turn off and the whole cycle will repeat again so that is guys that's how you can use the soil moisture sensor with the esp32 module so thanks for watching the video guys hopefully you enjoyed it and i have provided the code and the circuit diagram in the description box below so you can check that out if you have any difficulties in implementing it so as always i will catch you all in the next one